How long must you live separate and apart from your spouse before filing for divorce in Texas? And what constitutes a legal separation anyway? I get asked these questions all the time. My name is Laura Hurd, and I'm an attorney who has helped people get divorced in San Antonio, Texas since 1987. It is confusing to a lot of people because there are different rules in different states. And you may have heard or seen something online that somebody said that you have to be separated for, say, two years before you can get divorced. That may be true in other states, but it is not true in Texas. In fact, Texas does not even recognize a legal separation. There's no such thing in Texas. You are living apart, you're separated, but you're not legally separated because we don't order people to get separated in Texas unless there's domestic violence and then you've got a protective order in place. But other than that, if you are filing for divorce, you are still married until the day that the judge signs the final order and says you are divorced. And in the meantime, between when you file the petition to start the process and when the judge signs the final order, since you're still married, if you go about dating other people or listing yourself as single on social media and putting yourself out there on dating websites, then the judge can consider that adultery because you're still married and that can hurt you in the divorce process. So keep that in mind. You are married even though you're separated and there is no such thing as legal separation. Now, there are times when people will put together a separation agreement. And that's a contract. It's not a court order. But you can set out some terms about how you're going to conduct yourself while you're separated before the divorce happens. And if one of you breaches that contract, then you can bring them to court and, and argue to the judge that they breached the contract. The agreement's not a court order, and it's certainly not required. And most people don't do that. So with a divorce, once you fight for divorce, most counties in Texas have standing orders that go into effect immediately. And those standing orders do set out some basic rules like you can't hide the kids from each other, you can't make major purchases, move money around, or you can't take your spouse off the insurance, things like that. That goes into effect immediately because you filed a petition to start the divorce. And if you are still living together and you don't want to still live together, you want the other spouse to move out and they're refusing, you can file for temporary orders, have a hearing, and ask the judge to order the spouse to move out and give you exclusive possession of the house while the divorce is pending. But you have to file the petition for divorce and have a hearing with the other side, having the opportunity to argue their side before you can get an order like that. So there is no legal separation in Texas. There's no time requirement for how long you have to live apart. The judges may ask that and we often put it in the petition so that the judge can make a fair determination of how to divide up the debts and the assets based on how long you've been living apart. But it's not required and it's not uncommon to file for divorce in Texas while you're still living in the same house. At the same time, don't be afraid to move out because you've not given up any right to claim that property. You still have ownership rights even if you're not living in the house. So it's not like you've abandoned abandoned the house if you move out. But if you are still together, you can still file for divorce. You can be living together on the day you file the petition. You can be living together afterwards. You can live together on the day the judge declares you. It doesn't affect the fact that you're divorced. It doesn't prevent you from being divorced just because you're still living together. Practical matter, it's probably not a good idea. You know, generally, you don't have a great relationship or you wouldn't be getting divorced. And eventually, one or both of you is going to start dating and that can be pretty awkward if you're still living together. But legally, there's no requirement for you to be separate and apart. And so keep that in mind. In Texas, we don't have legal separation. We don't have any time period. We don't even require that you live apart. And it's just not uncommon that we can actually serve someone with divorce papers while you're still living together. Now, another factor to consider is how are you going to communicate 
communicate with your attorney without the other side being privy to those conversations if you're still living in the house. It makes, there's privacy issues and confidentiality issues if you're continuing to live together. And it's a whole lot easier to separate your property at the final decree of divorce. If we can just say whatever's in your possession is yours and what's in their possession is theirs. But if y'all are still living in the same house and sharing possessions, then that doesn't work. So there's a lot of reasons to get separated before divorce. There's no requirement to do so. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe and like and comment. Those things help me to continue making videos.